What's going on YouTube? This is Christian, also known as King Atlas. Uh, I was on Twitter yesterday and I was thinking to myself, what other Twitter apps are on there? So I asked around and this is what I got back. So hopefully this video will help you decide which Twitter app you are for your iPhone 4. Stay posted. So the first video or for the first app we have here is the official Twitter app for the iPhone 4 which was formerly known as Tweety 2. Um, it has a pretty simple interface you can pull it down to refresh it which I like very nicely which we'll be going over that in the other applications but it's a really simple interface it has the bottoms the at replies right there the direct messages and to search and it also bring up trending topics um, for that also you can um, you're able to go over, look at your profile, um, maybe even set up contacts if you really wanted to. Um, I don't really go into that too often, but um, there it is for the Twitter app for the iPhone 4. Next, we have the Echo Phone application. Uh, it's, again, it's very similar to the Twitter app. Um, instead, on the bottom though it shows push notifications under your home for new tweets new mentions um, new direct messages um, trending topics all that kind of stuff your favorites it'll go it's sort of the same interface uh, this is the unpaid app which would the pro version would be 499 but I'm gonna update my status right now recording a video but um, to get in it this is the unpaid app which means it supports ads uh, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play around with these a little bit before I actually uh, pay for these applications. Ads are very annoying. Um, just update my Twitter status right there, actually, and it pops up. As you can see, the notification popped up on the bottom, um, and that's pretty much it. Is there is the trending topics? Um, it's not a very application. So the next application after that is the Twitterific app. Um, which is kind of disappointing, but um, there it is right there. It's not like the Twitter, like the Echo Phone app. It makes a little noise right there for new incoming tweets and has different highlights and stuff like that. But this one is the unpaid one too, so it does support ads. And uh, on, it doesn't have like an interface on the bottom where you can go and look at messages like that. Um, it'll go into something different when you click outside of it and you'll be able to click on that. It'll go right here. You can look at mentions, messages, trending topics and stuff like that. Or you can just go to all tweets and it'll just show up in different colors. Um, and the re the refresh on this is kind of slow with the ads and I'm not really sure if I'm liking this too much but if this is you there's Twitterific for the iPhone. Um, next is TweetDeck. TweetDeck is surprisingly uh, it's surprisingly good but it's it crashes a lot and it's a little slower but you there's you have different columns where you can go to mentions your live feed and you can also connect your Facebook account to it uh, which is pretty cool and you can see the live feed from your Facebook account um, it does have put up oh, it crashed on me again but um, it does have the push notification or not the push notification but the notifications on the bottom for your Twitter and Facebook accounts um, you can go to settings and the good thing, the cool thing about this application is you can um, customize it in any way you really want. You can go to a dark theme, you can go to a light theme, um, auto correction, auto capitalization. You can choose what kind of twit photo you like to put, have on there, like Y frogs or any of that good stuff. Shake to reload. Um, you can definitely customize it a lot more than any other application um, that I've known that's on there. So, and when you're uh, updating your status you can uh, go on there and switch to landscape mode which is a little weird but you can update your Facebook and Twitter at the same time if you really wanted to um, that's pretty much it it's a really it's kind of a complicated interface but it gets the job done just the same as any other uh, Twitter application so there's TweetDeck excuse me and the last one we're going to be going over is simply tweet uh, somebody suggested this to me on Twitter actually it's a very simple application it's pretty much uh, says the name it's simply tweet it's simple interface and 
Um, it unlike the Twitter app for the uh, the Tweety app, I get confused between those two. I like the Tweety, but for the Twitter app, it, it doesn't have any notifications. It has notifications on the bottom, and the kind of a Twitterific theme with different colors and stuff like that. There it is, guys. Those are the five applications that I found that are some pretty cool Twitter apps. Which Twitter apps are you? Leave a comment below in the boxes and let me know so I can find my perfect one. For right now, I'm going to stick with the official Twitter app because I like the, the simple interface and it runs smoothly. Um, but thank you guys for watching this. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, actually. I'll put in the screen right here. I'll also put it in the description box below. Um, thank you for watching. You guys take it easy. See you in the next video.